But Michael, before we get into some of these specific players for anybody that is like blue chip, red chip, what does that mean? Can you give a little bit of the distinction between the two? Well, you know, in, in every position in the league, you have the top five players at their position, and then you have the top 10 players at their position. And so the distinction is if you're in the top five, you're considered a blue chip. You're considered a player that at the game, nobody could take you out of the game. So you're able to make plays against all level of competition. You're able to dominate regardless of the opponent. Red chip, same thing, but maybe not to the same degree. So it's typically it's based on a grading system. You get a grade. Grades that, that flow for blue chips range from 9.0 to 6.7, 6.8. And red chips are usually between that 6.5 and 6.7 category. So you kind of have a little bit in how they react to their team and the scheme and what they do to fit. And so the NFL has dramatically changed a little bit, Stormy. We used to have on-the-line linebackers, and we used to have off-the-ball linebackers. But now, because most of the on-the-line linebackers are rushers, J.J. Watt, I mean, excuse me, T.J. Watt is considered an on-the-line linebacker, but he's really a rush in. Mm -hmm. I mean, he, he can drop into coverage, but he really is a rush head. Miles Garrett sometimes drops into coverage when they zone dog. So to clarify a lot of things, we just made this year's group all off-ball linebackers. And Micah Parsons isn't in this because he could be, and he would be the best off-ball linebacker in football. Let's get that out there. But we're going to put him over at defensive end rush end because that's where he is. And he's able to impact the game from all different spots. I mean, he would be a blue chip here, and he would be a blue chip mm -hmm. there and off and down. And that's why Jerry Jones made the comment he made. He's got to pay him because it's very rare to have a player like Micah that can do it from off the ball and on the ball. Yeah, so you'll see Micah Parsons on the list that comes out on the GM shuffle that is released on Thursday. Thursday. Yep, because every Thursday right. you're continuing going through every – um, one of those position groups, you'll close out with quarterback when the NFL season gets started. So make sure you keep tuning into that series. Your best blue chip off ball linebacker is who, Michael? I, I'm going to say it's your guy, Fred Warner, because I think he does when they don't have Fred Warner in the game, it's a problem. Right. And so I think for for the most uh, when you watch San Francisco, the the line, the middle linebacker in the San Francisco P. Carroll scheme is really important. Bobby Wagner for years made a career. That's where they start. They start down the middle. And I think ultimately he does play really well. And the other thing I think you have to as fans, which you have to really pay close attention to, is it's no longer a game of first, second, and mm -hmm. third down. Football is no longer that. Football is st is a game of what formation a personnel group is on the field. So if they're in 12 personnel, one back, two tight ends, do the linebackers stay on the field? If they're in 21, two backs, one tight end, who's on the field? If they're in 11, one back, one tight end, who's on the field? See, it's all about f personnel groupings. Mm -hmm. And the only way you can become a blue chip linebacker is if they can't formation you or personnel group you off the field. Mm -hmm. The days of the Chris Spielmans, if you will, where I'm a rundown linebacker, the, they don't exist anymore. Those guys are dinosaurs. Because if you're on the field on first down and they get into a passing formation, you got to play pass. And then you end up standing next to me most of the game. Mm -hmm. So linebacker is really a combination of safety, run, hit, and Warner does it as well as anybody. So does Demario Davis. I thought Nick Bolton is tremendous for Kansas City. He was outstanding in terms of what he brought to their defense. Yeah, a, a lot of really talented players. And to your point, right, it's, it's not always about – how many tackles you make, but how often are you around the ball? How are you making plays? Are you putting teams back with the tackles for loss? What personnel groups do you have success against? Like it's a, it's a accumulation of different things that make a guy a blue chip player. And Fred Warner, that was music to my ears for you to say that. I, I love our San Francisco linebacker group. And Fred, since he entered the league in 2018, led the team in tackles every single year. He's that guy in the middle that's just kind of that general and always seems to be where the action is. Yeah, and I think they do a really good job in San Francisco of finding players that fit the scheme, right? 
they do a really good job of finding guys that fit what they want to do. Greenlaw's an example. Sharir, the kid that tr that went to Tennessee this mm -hmm. year. I mean, he's outstanding. I mean, he yeah. can fly to the ball. He's tackles. I think they do. A, they understand who they are defensively, and they find the players that fit. And Warner fits perfectly. And Fred Warner's prop for total combined tackles this year sitting 124 and a half last year had 136 quarterback hurries 10 pass breakups a forced fumble two sacks and an interception your red chip list michael you have jerome baker quay walker logan wilson Jawan bentley and matt milano yeah i mean when buffalo doesn't have milano they're not the same team and Bentley's really, and Bentley was one of those linebackers that I wasn't in love with because he couldn't really cover, but he's improved in that area, and his speed is much better. Logan Wilson gets him lined up. Quay Walker from Green Bay as a pure rookie from Georgia, outstanding, and so is Jerome Baker. I mean, one thing about Miami's defense now, they're strong down the middle with Baker, with Wilkins at tackle, and then Holland at the safety position. They're really good at, at down the middle of their defense. And I think Holland will have a great year playing for them. They're just not good at corner right now, and they need to fix that. But these guys are all good young players that are going to develop. Walker's going to be a really good. The rookie that I like is Marpy, the kid, Martin yeah. Marpy, that went to Sac State. I think he's going to be outstanding. And you say, Stormy, where's Roquan Smith? I That's thought Roquan was wasn't the same player that he was in past years. That was going to be my next question. I was very surprised not to see Roquan Smith on this list. I know he had a, a little bit of a down year a season ago, but I do anticipate him taking that step back up this season. So hopefully he makes yep. your list next year, I think, maybe, maybe. I, I think so. I think he'll be in better shape. I think the contract affected him more than anything. Yeah. Go to vsun.com slash subscribe to become a vsun Pro subscriber today.